One year ago, we knocked on the door. This year, we beat on the door. Next year, we're going to kick the son of a in. To be a great coach, you have to be a great motivator. It's not something you can learn by just Googling it. Wins and losses are easy to quantify, but motivation is more subjective. Here is the list of the top 10 coaches and their unique motivational styles. This list isn't about winning championships, it's about motivating players. So if you disagree with the list, we'll join the club. Number 10 motivational coach of all time, Bum Phillips. Bum Phillips taught his men how to dance every dance and hold on to the rope. We hadn't let go of that rope. And we're not going to start right now. Let's go get this. Do everything as good as you can and then a little bit more. Number nine motivational coach of all time, Sam White. Oh, who's the <laughs> Get ready to water fight down there. Take care of any equipment needs you've got or any nature needs you've got. Really, I mean, you, you can only be so stupid, but they have exceeded the limits here somehow. Will the next person that sees anybody throw anything onto this field, point them out, but get them out of here. That's the enemy over there. They're not your friends. Let me do something right here. Bam! Right there. You get out there, stretch those joints a little bit, and kick their butts all over the field. Wake up! You're looking at me like I'm not even talking. You're not hearing me. I'm going to King Island! Yeah, man. Number eight motivational coach of all time, Hank Stram. The mentor. How can six of you miss a play like that? We got to play it because we care. Because you care for this football team. And because you care about winning. My God, what are you doing on that huddle? Throw is good. Like, like you're throwing to your wife. Just keep matriculating the ball down the field, boys. 65 toss power yeah. trap. Get in there. Running play coming to Garrett on a top. 65 toss power trap. Touchdown. Yeah. There are many different ways to motivate your team. One way is to send it through the media. They are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. This team is going to the playoffs. Playoffs? We can't talk about playoffs. D playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs? You kidding me? Number seven, motivational coach of all time, Bill Parcells. Hey, fellas, this is what you work all off season for. This is why you lift all them weights. This is why you do all that. What the f are you doing staying 10 yards in the back seat? Tell him to throw up on his own time. Number six motivational coach of all time, Bill Cower. Let's go! Let's play! You gotta believe and you gotta trust. We're gonna find a way to win this. I don't wanna say it again. Let the guy run. The pads will be on soon enough. I'm with you guys, win or lose. I'm gonna tell you right now. But I'm young, I make mistakes too. Who did? We did! Who did? We did! Who did? We did! We did. Who did? Number five, motivational coach of all time, George Allen. Every time you lose, you die a little bit. You die inside, a portion of you. Not all of your organs, maybe just your liver. And every time you win, you're reborn. A loser is dead and doesn't know it. Defense, come on back in the huddle. Is that the way you break the huddle? You're gonna be a great defense and you break the huddle that way? Holy crap. 40 men together can't lose, okay? <laughs> for the Redskins. <laughs> Number four motivational coach of all time, Marty Schottenheimer. Do not underestimate the power of the human will. This doesn't light your fireman, the pilot lights out. Don't let him hold you. Yes, Don't let him hold you. We gotta go one more series. Light the ignition. Let's get this rocket ship going up now. The only thing that matters is that's six inches between your backbone and your breastbone. There's a gleam, men. There's a gleam. Let's get the gleam one play at a time. Let's go one play at a time. One play at a time. The letters U.S. Us. They're powerful. Number three motivational coach of all time, John Gruden. Good. Nap at nap time. Work on his practice field. When you see potential in a guy, this is the. Last shot right here. You know what I'm saying? I think it's important to 
let him know that you're on top of everything that he does. You're either going to explode onto the scene or you're just going to be like a... You got a winning edge, you break in the huddle, and we break it like a sack of shit. During the play, the quarterback's arm was going forward. It is an ink. All right. That controversial defeat to lead a new band of pirates. Ho, 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 ho! Santa Claus is here, huddle up! Leadership is leading in a positive way. Oh, love that! You have to motivate, you have to be very much in command of the standards that you're seeing out there. You gotta say, hey, I've been here before, I know exactly what to do, we're gonna do it. You dropped seven balls today, offensively. Inexcusable. Let's go! Let's go! Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your skull? Foot, five, three. After I get done with you, you're gonna be five, nine. Downright nasty, brothers. Now one word was said about how somebody's gonna stop this defense. You know what Buck Guy means? You know what anything means? That rock! How that rock! Gotta win the Super Bowl! Super Bowl, baby! Boom, boom, boom! Number two motivational coach of all time, Dick Vermeil. They know I'm gonna be there and defend them and back them. care they'll care if you trust those we will not lose sight of what we have left to do i don't want to forget any of you guys because i never will you're really special thank you for what you've done for me i thought maybe you'd only cry as an eagles coach 12 years have gone by since the eagles have been a winner here we go you know, he's the Super Bowls where he's going. i left coaching because i had to today i'm back because i have to let's go win it right now Number one motivational coach of all time, Vince Lombardi. Winning isn't everything, but it's the only thing. In our business, there is no second place. Either your first or your last. Everybody grabbing out there. Nobody tackling. Go ahead now. You have if you look at this play, what we're trying to get is a seal here and a seal here and try to run this play in the alleys. What the hell's going on out here? Tell you something, Leroy. You're not going to get your job back unless we get a better performance. Get him out of there, will you? Super Bowl trophy is not even named after it. And the Green Bay Packers are going to be NFL champions for the third straight year. Thank you for watching. 